tripping. Cool. So now um, XLC, obviously it's like we've got full-time frame continuity to the downside. Gave you a little pump fake, a little, little gap up, and then came back down. Um, so, you know, that's what it does. It'll gap up, give you a couple days in a row, maybe a week, make you feel like, uh, you know, this thing reversing back up, and then they done got you checkmate. Uh, and got your lunch money. So, you know, that's why I say you got to watch for continuity on these on these tickers as well to make sure that you're, um, you know, taking good trades. So, like, again, like we were saying, if you're going to play these sectors that are falling like this, despite, you know, other stuff, just make sure you're jumping in and out. And if you plan to the downside, then you, you're, doing, you're doing the right thing. XL, let's go over to technology now, XLK. Uh, looks like XLK is coming to a broadening formation. That could be a potential area for it to bounce. It has, you know, um, it's hit this level a few times. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, again, um, if you're playing it to the downside, then you, you're doing the right thing. Um, because of this broad information, you really want to see what is how it's going to respond tomorrow. Looks like it tested below it and then came right back up. So we'll see. Um, again, it's a shooter on the week. Um, you know, there's no reason for me to think this thing is going back up. So again, technology still looking. Next one, we're gonna move over to financials, XLF. Uh, so what we got here on XLF, again, Hit that broad information last Thursday, We've been kind of coming down ever since. There is nothing in XLF that says we'll, we'll be moving to the upside. Still looks like continued downside movement going until tomorrow. So yep, two down on the day, two down on the week. Looks like continuation to the downside. What's interesting though is the month's still green. So that's, but not by much. Yeah, like 12 cents from, from going red on the month. Um, so yeah, that, just uh, keep your keep your head on the swivel. So that's financials. Let's head over to industrials, XLI. So we're in the middle of this trade range. We're still heading to the downside with industrials. Obviously, there are some tickers in industrials that are just still performing pretty well, like like Keith Martin and stuff like that. But generally speaking, though, again, this one isn't falling as strongly as like communications or technology, but we still got you know more room we're heading down on this one. So XLI, you know, still bearish. Go over to healthcare now with healthcare. Ooh, as much as I like healthcare, healthcare is getting tore up right now. There's a couple stocks. You know, like again, there's gonna be certain ones that are still kind of moving up. And then you're gonna have those that uh, are gonna move with the rest of the sector. So um, in this case, we had some corrective activity. Uh, we had some highs on, on the sector. And so just a little corrective activity. We'll see if it finds a level of, you know, buying and then it'll, then we'll see potentially a reversal. Um, but, you know, hey, it could be a situation where uh, healthcare, you know, they kind of maxed out, they run, and, you know, now it's starting to kind of correct itself. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, though, you know, I'm still bullish on, on healthcare as a whole, maybe not like the COVID related stuff, but um some of those tickers uh we'll see what happens though but yeah everything looks looks to the downside right now as far as those go uh, let's go over to utilities and utilities this one's probably been a little more on the disappointing side in terms of performance over the last i don't know two months 60 days or so um but again this one here it's trying to find a level to to, to, to pop, but it's just no, there's no buying right now um, in utilities. And so it's just kind of, it's, it's just not showing strength. So 
again, this one, we'll see how far it goes. It looks like it tried to show some level of buying here in the 65, 60 level. So we'll see if that continues tomorrow, which would give us a, there we go. What's this, a three, three on the day, we go outside day. So three, two up on the day. Um, so that will that would be what we look for uh, for tomorrow on XLU. This one's not like free falling like some of the others. And last one is real estate. So yeah, let's check out real estate. Same thing. Um, had a hard hard fall uh, Thursday. <clears throat> um, but yeah, same similar to the others. Where it's uh, it's just in, in a downtrend at the moment. We'll see where this level, where it begins to kind of bottom out. But uh, looks like again, hit some highs and now we're just kind of retracing back. So we'll see how far that goes. Um, but again, um, you know, predominantly the market is showing bearish, bearish signals, which we all know already. So um, nothing new there. I uh, just wanted to, oh, got one more. I got uh, discretionary. And uh, discretionary, uh, looks like we've got a couple of things going on here. Um, first off on the micros, now we're gonna keep going down. We're gonna keep pushing down potentially to this broad information, uh, 179.80 or something like that. Um, so that would be my short-term micro expectation. Uh, but I'd be looking for that one to reach the broad information and then show me some type of reversal back up in, in, in the coming weeks. So um, I'll be looking out for a discretionary going into March and April and seeing, um, you know, how, you know, the rest of the sentiment around the, the country is as well as globally with the with the war stuff. And not only that, but just, you know, generally speaking with like COVID, we're, we're opening up, you know, mass mandates are being loosened. So, um, there should be some fundamental um, things that uh, discretionary should benefit from. So we'll see uh, with that. So now let's get to the let's get to it, man. I just wanted to see what sectors was was doing what today because uh, don't look like uh, look like the same old same old. So we're gonna um, take a look at we're gonna run a quick scan uh, what i want to look for here i'm gonna look for some inside four hour setups but we'll we'll just kind of jump around and see um see what's out there if y'all got tickers um uh, just let me know throw them in the chat whatever you know this ain't a one-sided discussion you can jump in ask questions whatever you know this is really informal that you know we just we we kicking it uh, so yeah, looks like ain't nothing really I like on there. Um, SPWR, SPWR. Uh, let's go. So you got Sun Power HD to the downside. Yep, yep, yep. Most of these setups we're gonna see gonna probably be downside setups, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, let me see here. Um, don't send me no DM when I'm in the middle of class. Uh, yeah, that's somebody. Hold on one second. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, so now we're gonna jump into it. Um, yeah, this uh, this particular scan isn't showing us much on the four hour. We can adjust and see. Let's see what kind of inside day. Yeah, Corey, actually, yeah, the four hours on oil and energy. I was actually thinking like maybe we should just go sector by sector and pull up some tickers versus even doing the scan today, because I don't think there's going to be much other than what we already know um, on these scans. So definitely, but I'm going to change this to, uh, 
Change this to inside. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Let me do this. Yeah, okay. Okay. I put in the wrong scanner. I'm tripping. I'm like 30 stop. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. DVN. Yeah, you know Devin. Devin move. Um C V E or your C V X. Abby by African American H D. Okay. Let's check those out real quick before I get into the list. We can just run through that. Yeah, the HD looks solid for a uh, downside play on the four hour. You got continuity. You're going to be trading into the into the direction. So we got, man, yeah, you got a couple triggers. Uh, actually, this, this uh, HD put tomorrow looks fire. It's actually a fire put set up. You know, I'm setting an alert for it. Uh, low of 347.40. Mm. Yeah, that's a fire one right there. It's got two trigger points. So the HD on the day as well as the HD on the four hour, both are giving you inside setups. Um, that's a good clean, that's a nice clean setup. I like that a lot, actually. Shooter on the day. I mean, yeah, you got everything you want to see for a put setup. Them the put setups I want to see. I don't want no confusion. Wham, bam, boom. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that. Like that's that's good. That's good and solid. I feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You got the broad information below it. That's what you really want to watch for. Um, but if you if you're trying to take a you know a scalp or something for a couple of dollars, you could take it down. Um, I have to get this off my screen. Let me finish this alert first. When things are in continuity like that, I you know I still have like this uh, sentiment that it'll it'll blow through broad informations, but it is a monthly level BF, so it's pretty, it's going to be pretty strong. So I say if you wanted to take it, you take it down to the broad information as the safe play. Maybe it dips below it a tad, but um, you know just be mindful. It's a strong BF right there. It's not no it's not no little micro. Um, but yeah, no, that one was good. If I want to take it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, you could 346, like a dollar, maybe like a dollar and a half, dollar 70 cents or something like that. Um, before it got to that broad information, like I said, though, with the two level break right here on the four hour in the day. You may have the force you need to kind of push through that broad information because this is just a retest. So uh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's solid. That's solid right there. That's a quick setup for you. Um, let's get it cracking. What we got? Yeah, what we got? So now we got, okay, Alcoa AA. All right. Um, I got a homework assignment for y'all. Y'all need to uh, look up uh, HWM as well as uh, Alcoa and check out check out their relationship. Um, so with AA, looks like this thing don't want to fall. <laughs> it's like the market bearish, my sector bearish, but I ain't trying to fall. So you know, you know how <laughs> African Americans are. You know, my African Americans. Um, so with that, I like it um on the four hour flip. If you get the two two rev on the four hour above 76.61, that'll be solid. Um, I mean, we're in continuity. So really what you want is that two up on the day, the two one two above 77.66. Um, which yeah, it's got you know a little bit of room to it's gotta, you know, do some work. But if it does it, um, 
you're going to be back in continuity and cooking with grease. Um, so that one's solid. I'm going to set the, the daily alert, though. Um, that's more of a, you know, that might be a, a little late entry on the long play. So that one's, that one, you know, could, could, could work two purposes. Let me see. All right. Two on two on a day of uh, 7766. Like I always say, set your alerts below the level or prior to the level that it needs to break so you can get all your get yourself together before the actual trigger hits. You don't want to start getting pulling up the contracts before the trigger uh, after the trigger hits, you lose the money every second that that, you know. As you're trying to fumble around and get all that stuff pulled up. 7766. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Abby Vi. So Abby Vi, okay. See, that's what I mean. Sector looks like murder, death, kill, homicide. And then you got a couple that just, you know, strong. Strong. Yeah, that's built for it. Tough right there. So you got 212 on the four hour. I like that. Above 145.18. Let's see. Abbey Buy is not a super volatile stock. It's more of a steady climber. So, I mean, as far as scalping, I don't believe I've like really scalped Abbey Buy, baby. I don't even think I've day traded it. I've only swung it. So. Uh, tell you how I feel about it. 145.18. I like the stock. Uh, 140 and the daily reversal to to rev above 145.47. That's a solid. That's a solid level two. Uh, two to rev. Okay. 145, 47, 45, 47. All right, uh, keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, oil setups look fire. I'm gonna get into them. DVN. Yeah, DVN, that's Devin, you know. Well, you know, some people call him Devon. I call him Devin, his mama call him Devin, so I'm gonna call him Devin. You know, he done went and got famous and became somebody now. He, he now he now he's Devin, so so we'll see. All right. All right. So we got this four hour set up sitting right up under the broad information. Um, and. Sorry about that. So we got the 212 on the four hour. You know, 5551. I like um I like Devin. Um I'm gonna actually set a trigger for it just to see what it looking like. Um 5545 would be my alert level. Uh, 212 on the four hour. That's that's money in the bank. You, I mean, I mean, don't don't blindly jump into shit though. Y'all be killing me, not y'all, but people be killing me. I know FICO did the class, and then next thing you know, got there are people blindly jumping in the uh, blindly jumping in the calls on the XLE this week. I'm like, yeah, chill out, chill out. Hey, true. What's this CVE, bro? Talk to me. Um, I was scanning. I don't. I said I know I played it before, but I've seen it uh, earlier. Yeah. So I think it's I went to the fundamentals. I think it's part of oil you or energy. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Um, it I gotta double up. check. I think it's energy, bro. Okay. Yeah, that 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 setup looked fire. I'm gonna check it out. Um uh, oh Synovus Energy. Okay. Natural gas. Oh, so you uh you trying to switch from an oily boy to natural gas? Oh, I see how you do it. I see how you do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Hey. Okay, okay. But yeah, this thing fire. Energy sector. Uh let's do some little, let's do some little homework real quick. You can check out a sector, see what uh you know. Yeah, I don't know what the contracts look like. I don't know how they move. Right. Yes, energy. Yeah, fifteen dollars. I like it. Let's see. I'm gonna set an alert on it and see what it do. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna scan the prices real quick though to see what we're looking at. Man, it's got a fire ass setup though. I ain't gonna lie about that though. God, out. Oh. Two one two on the four hour fifteen eighty nine. I bet you the contracts are super cheap. Um, Comparatively, uh, MRO is a stock in that price range that, you know, will have some cheap contracts as well. That's solid, that's solid. All right, I'm gonna mark the daily trigger as well. Uh-oh. Damn, zoom thing in my way. All right, we got 212 on the day. Uh, sixteen dollars, sixteen oh one. Uh, let's go fifteen ninety five. Two one two on a day. Sixteen oh one. Sixteen oh one. Let's check the analyze tab real quick on these bad boys. Ah, the expiration is the eighteenth though. Uh, I'm tripping today, tomorrow the 18th. I'm tripping. All right, yeah. Yeah, the 16s um, look like the ones for tomorrow. So yeah, they got some, they got a couple people at the party. It looks like uh, a lot of folks went for those 17s. So this, this pullback, that pullback this week caught them people in them 17s. But the 16s look solid. We might get some run. I, well, I actually believe we're going to get some run tomorrow on energy. Um, that's why I wanted to look through the sectors to make sure I, my, what I was thinking matched up with what I was seeing. Um, so, okay. Yeah, that looks solid, bro. Got some people at the party. You ain't going to be there by yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. HWM. That's the ticker I was talking about. Y'all, y'all, you know, do some homework. Let me know what y'all, what y'all think about it. We'll, we'll chop it up in one of these sessions or something. We ain't gonna get into it today though. I just wanted y'all to put it on your radar. COP. Again, another energy, similar setup, inside four hour hammer, right up under the point of control. The two hour is confirming what we seen on the four hour. Looks like we had a nice push afternoon, daily. We, we're in the midst of a TTO. It had the broad information, it hit the broad information, didn't give us like a total rejection, but we had some retracement, the gap down, now we TT on right back up. We'll probably go back and push the top of this broad information again, which will probably give us a new high there. But uh, on the day, that will put us 212, will be above 91.85. See, man, y'all be talking too much mess now on, on the internet, people catching on. See, I used to just like it, you know, like days like this, when only like one sector looking good or two sectors, and then we just, just smack <laughs> just smack that whole set of that day and everybody over there crying. Like, man, that's what I like to see. They be like, man, what y'all doing over there in the pack? Two on two on the day. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, I got a macro trigger on COP. Okay. Cool, I'm still watching COP for other plays. Yeah. Moderna, SLB. Okay, Moderna, we are looking, we're looking for downside action. We looking for that downside action. Is that two up today? 
Yeah, too. Uh, what that? Hold on. Oh, that yeah, that that yeah. Okay. So we get a one, two, two back to the downside on the day on Moderna. Shooter on the day. Hmm. Okay. Changed my whole perspective when I saw that. All right. So um, that one, two, two on the day back to the downside. You take that thing back to one twenty eight. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to add some time to it, but yeah, I mean, that thing looks solid. Uh, do I want to out? I'm going to hold on, setting the alert. I don't want to over alert myself today. Um, so, yeah, let's hit the scanner, see what we got on here. Look like DoorDash went crazy. Did they have earnings? Somebody let me know why they went 10% today. They had the mean gap up. Yeah, they had, they had earnings last night. Yeah, okay, okay. That makes they sense. Got, um, they got Roku today. They clap Roku bad. Ooh, oh, I saw y'all talking about that. Okay, yeah. Ooh, that ain't good. Okay. Uh, the thing with these DoorDash and these gap ups, I don't think it's going to fill the gap to the downside for a little while. So they may not do shit, but it's just going to sit and go sideways, maybe slightly down but it's not gonna fill the gap. So I wouldn't touch uh, DoorDash just yet. I wanted to pick what it's want, wants to do. It could just flatten out and go sideways at that level. But yeah, so it must've been a decent earnings though. Uh, I like DoorDash though, but- Now nah, nah, they actually missed. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Interesting. I think they said like you, the user use was like went up like crazy, but they missed on like um they missed on some of their numbers. Like revenue, yeah, they had like the like EPS. The EPS they missed on, but they was good every with the revenue. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Got them up, and then Nvidia beat everything, and they dropped them. <laughs> right. Oh boy, he's shooting the crap table with them earnings. All right. All right, so yeah, we're gonna leave DoorDash alone, let them cool off a little bit. MRO, I know some of us hopped in there earlier this week. We finally got the movement we needed today um, to push this thing on up. So yeah, um, hey, you see what this was crack a lacking? 212 on the four hour, you got a level above 2213. This is one of my old Friday specials. Um, Y'all know Target was originally my baby, then FICO came and took it from me, but it's okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got this two on two on the four hour. Your level for entry is 22.13. I'm gonna set my level a little bit before that. Really, I set it closer, but it's okay. Um, just, just a note on MRO, con these contracts on zero days go really fast um, in terms of the premiums. So, I mean, 15, 20, 25 cent move on the stock, you I mean, 100% plus will be kind of what you're looking at. Um, and typically, I think with MRO is one of those, you just take it to target and get out. Um, it's not one that you, Unless or unless we're on the bean tomorrow, um, MRO is one you want to take to a target, whatever that target is, and uh, you know take your take your profits there. But it has some great volatility in the mornings, especially when these triggers hit on these four hours for zero day. So um, this is one that that can that you know we play quite a bit uh, with zero days and you know stuff like that. So I like MRO uh, the setups decent. It's not the best oil setup right now, but it's decent. But you know, they, they had earnings today, right? Or earnings this week, something like that. I'm bad about earnings. I don't even keep up at all no more. All right, MRO, we got Cisco Systems. Do we even want to look over there? We want to look, they gapped up. I would presume earnings related. Cisco system. Yeah, they were they was yesterday too. Yeah. So does yeah. Well, seeing a trend here. 
COP, Momo, USO. Where my boy Hakeem at? That's his, this is his stuff right here, that USO. He likes to play that United States oil. You like that? You know, play some United, some US steel, some US oil. Ah, America. Ah. You know, you know, that's what we talking about. I like USO though. All right, 6430 is going to be my trip, my alert level. 212 on the day above. I hope y'all see what we playing tomorrow by now. Um, unless you plan puts, you know, you got you got a few options on puts, but if you plan into the upside tomorrow, I think you kind of see what what's gonna be cracking. 6436. I'm just throwing these on here so there's a list because some people that don't get to make the calls, they get to know at least what we were looking at tonight. 64. Keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, what you doing on here, uh, XPAL? ET. I was one of my one on my watch list this week. It just didn't do nothing. Just got down and went back to its level. It just stayed there. We just stuck. So no bueno there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave ET alone for tomorrow. Southwestern Energy. I know people been bringing that one up a lot lately. Let's see what they doing over here. Uh, hmm. Interesting. It's a little bit of conflict though. But um, yeah, you know, it's a hammer for me on the four hour. I mean, similar setup to the rest of the oil stocks. I'm not going to set an alert for it. I don't like the, the price level. The sub $5 price level. Too many variables could screw up stuff. Yeah, XPEV. XPEV is trying its best to stay up. It's like, man, y'all don't want to let me be great. But um, hmm. I always got to have one random out there. But uh, I don't think this is going to be it, though. Uh, let's keep it moving. R-E-F, Oxy, X-O-P, man. Oil, oil, oil. Energy, energy, energy. Okay, we got double inside four hours on Oxy. I don't know about all that. So we've been flat, flat. Okay. All right. Look at that. I'm just gonna set the alert just cause I wanna play the double inside for a while, but this is when trading gets fun. I'm like, hey, I always wanna see what this break gonna do. I don't get these too often. See how strong this thing is. Y'all probably look at me like, this dude gassed about that for Three dollars. I'm gonna I'm a legit play that if it breaks tomorrow. Though. Uh, inside day, it's got a lot of work to do to get to, to get two up tomorrow. But if, I mean, the setup's there, so yeah, it's, yeah, you got. You got a nice little move you got to make tomorrow. 62 cents to go to up on the day. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean, Oxy can do it, but it's just, you know, it ain't no little, ain't no little, little amount of money right there. 58, 40, 53 would be my level there. And then 212 on the day. Oh, let's keep it going. 
All right, we got uh, XOP. XOP is typically a little bit more expensive, um, but if it's in your price range and you know you have no problem, again, similar setup to the others, maybe not as clean or as strong as some of the others, but same setup again, we got leaders and laggers. So you got to understand like who's going to go first, who's going to go last, all that good stuff. So um, XOM is going to be the leader all the time. Um, XOP is solid too, though. I like it. It's one of the bigger ones, but um, the setup just isn't looking um, as strong as the others. I, don't, I think I have enough oil alerts anyway, so I'm good. SU, uh, conflict, I'm gonna leave it, we're, we're fine. I think we got enough good setups. Um, UUP, the US dollar. See what UUP talking about over here. UUP should not move nowhere. This is good. Um, we'll see. Yeah, so that's fine. So we'll make sure it's stable. What we got here, XOM. My $70 calls uh, expire tomorrow. It was up, up. We had a little bit of retracement, but we'll see. It's not showing the strength like the other ones on the charts because the laggers, the laggers are actually showing right now. All right, so let's keep going. HLF, XLE. We know what XLE is looking like. Zynga. I ain't heard your name in a while. Flat. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm good off Zynga. I'm not gonna play it tomorrow. I don't even need to finish. BMY win. Let's see. BMY two hour, we had a nice finish to the day. It's trying to form a little I tried to push back up as we saw. Two down in the day. Eh. No, I'll I'll stick to uh Abby Vi as far as healthcare for what I'm seeing, what I've seen so far. We got Win Resorts. Okay, inside four hour. Looks like again, afternoon price tried to push up. Uh, so we got a little wick there. Also, again, on the day, we got an inside day. I'm going to leave it alone, though. Um, I'm cool off the discretionary right now. Uh, so let's keep it going. CVX, another energy at Chevron. I just want to give folks a visual. So we got two, one, two. Again, CVX, that could be one. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the others, but it's Chevron, you know, you know the brand, you know the name. But I'm kind of full off oil alerts. I think they all look pretty solid to me. Um, I'll make note of that in my watch list tonight though. So folks who, wasn't, who weren't here know that there's others they can look at, but I think we got about five on there. That's good enough. J and J. Downside, full time frame continuity, 212 below 166.06. So, okay. I mean, that's the setup. That's what we're looking at. But we do have point of control. Oh, okay. So, we'll have to get through point of control for it to even trigger. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. JJ. AT and T and Lumen. Afternoon push created a wick. Still 
push it to the downside. And we claim that broad information. And T, you're gonna take you on T's gonna try to go back towards 23 bucks flat. That's probably where it's headed next. It can only hold on for so long. The rest of the sector done left it hanging. All right, gap down on Lumen this week for our setup. Even though it <laughs> created a wick, it's still trending down, uh, lower highs. So, you know, if you wanted to take something like Lumen to the downside, I mean, this is sub $10, but you got below 973 is a trigger point. I'm not personally going to play it. Um, I'll let it do what it do. Okay, Juniper Merck LVS. Smack Merck for, I don't know, 200 something plus percent last week. Healthcare had a little pop during the day. Got in, get out. Um, 312 to the downside on the four hour below 3428 would be your level on Juniper. Juni, June, June, uh, two down on the day, two, two rev, 3505 will be the level for entry on the day. So, hmm, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm tripping. 3422, I'm like, hold on, that don't sound right. Uh, yeah, 3428 on the four hour, 3422 on the day, yeah, okay. That makes more sense. All right, uh, let's keep going. UNP MRK. Yes, yeah, so that's the downside four hour setup. Inside day and inside four hour setups down on Union Pacific Railroad. That's solid. It's a solid put setup. Uh, full time frame continuity to the downside on Merck. You see all my spider webs because I was playing it to the broad information last week. You can see what it did right there. Uh, my, uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to keep it rolling on Merck. I think I'm going to skip over uh, discretionary. Airbnb, we already, we already look at that. Thought we did. Hmm, Airbnb, look at that. Showing a little strength. Look at you. Lower highs, I don't know if I would want to play it, but it's, you know, it looks strong, I think. You would, I, I would be, have to find a very good entry to get in on something like this right now. And I don't see the four hour setup with the sector strength that I would want to push it. Um, but, you know, if the market decides to do its thing tomorrow, it could be a one that, that goes that's not in oil or materials already. So that could be an option. I'm not going to set the trigger for it. I don't want to take, I don't want to take it. It could be bait. And if it goes, it goes. Kudos, hats off to whoever wins on it. But... All right, path of least resistance. All right, 212 to the downside on Halley, it looks like. Below 3285. Dang, Halley, you gonna do that to us? <laughs> Halley went off yesterday though, so I can't trip. Um, so yeah, we've got an outside week. I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't really feel like Hallie's going to go down now. So we might get like one of those pimping limpets. We're going to get the outside four hour or something like that. But, um, so it could go down initially, then come back up later in the day. So, um, but as far as that instant or that four hour trigger, uh, I don't see anything I want to play to the downside and it's not giving me the upside trigger yet. So. I, I'll chill, move on to another one. Um, Expedia, Rivian, I'm not gonna look at Rivian though. I'm not playing that on the zero day. Four hour setup to the downside, something that's trending up. I don't wanna go into conflict right now. 
<laughs> the setup to the downside, but the trend is to the upside. I'm like, eh, eh, uh. Y'all can have it. I want my setup to be in the same direction as my trend. Um, just to finish off this list, and I'm gonna get back to the uh, to the chat. Another one, three, one, two. This one's been going flat, so it's just been ping ponging. So just be mindful of that. Let's let that one do its thing. TSM, AMAT, NVIDIA. Hmm. Downside, downside, downside. Two, one, two on the four hour below 121, 119.72. And on the day below 119.65, what is a put setup if I haven't seen one? All right, um, A mat and Nvidia. Similar setup on A mat. Not going to cover it. Same exact setup as before. And Nvidia should be the same. Yes, it is. Similar setup. You know, downside. Not exactly like the other two, but. Same kind of feeling though. All right, um, that should that's the that's the that's the inside list. But let me go to the chat. Make sure uh, let me go back to the chat. If I didn't look at something through my list, Verizon, yes sir, sneaky. That's a sneaky one. That's a sneaky one right there. So yeah, Verizon. That's solid. That's just continuation. The trigger point would be on the day though, uh, not four hour. I'm gonna throw this three, two, two trigger. That's what I'm talking about. That's fire. That is fire. You know, we already in there. So that make it even better. Um, 53, 55. We had a good day today. Oh, no wonder, okay. Okay, three, two, two on the day. That that looks nice. That looks nice. Even for the long play that we're in. That looks nice. That's solid. ABT Abbott Laboratories. Yep, so add it, continuation to the downside. We got continuity. We falling sharply too on Abbott. That thing floating, okay. So Abbott, what's the low of this? 119.61, 119 flat. Yeah, that's what you're looking at on those. See if we can make it back to 119. Yeah, that one looks solid. Downside, you just gonna have to find the intraday entry though, because there ain't no um, trigger points I can identify just yet. So maybe let it open, see what it do, and find the entry from that. Yep, did look at TSM. TSM didn't look too hot, but to the at least to the upside. But it did have a downside setup, two one two below one nineteen seventy two. So yeah, that's a that one right there is gonna probably trigger right at right after the bell. So if you're gonna play it, that's gonna be ready. Be ready right after open for that one. Cause it's at the trigger point already. Uh, oh yeah. Oh uh, let me let me check out some macros then. Yeah, inside month with the shooter. Two up. Looks like we're forming a shooter on the quarter. Ooh, outside year. Wow. That, hey, potentially. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I don't think, you know, I can't predict the market, though. But it's showing that, you know, it failed the two up on the year, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good catch right there. That's good chicken. Yeah, Take sure. it to the other side of the range. Yep. <clears throat> I'm sorry, though, because we was talking about UPS. 
I got uh I got stopped out and I decided to take my profit. Ah, gotcha. Drop in. Yeah. Yep, you did. Yep. What we do is talk about that. Yeah, it's IBM still pushing. I, that was a that was an easy one too, the IBM, because it had ran up so hard. Like we, you know, you just gotta look for the signal. But yeah. And that inside week. Yeah. That was a good one for sure. Yep, yep. Hey, uh, real quick, if you don't mind, could you look at play? PL. I ain't really. Yeah, I think what that's David Buster's. It's not a real, it's not a real trade that I'm, but it has a pivot machine gun to the downside. That's the only thing I'm looking at if we possibly sell down hard. But really, it's like a. I know we don't take lotos, but I wouldn't put too much dip on my chip. I probably just grab yeah. one of the contracts to see if I can get a pivot machine gun down. You just uh, run it right below this broad information. You got the trigger. I mean, yeah, you, you get in below 42.19 or you take the continuation. Below yeah. 40, yeah, 42.19 is the level. Yeah. 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 I mean, yes, I don't know. That triggers, though, you're going back to the bottom of this broad information. I mean, I, I'll do it tomorrow, mm -hmm. but you can still get to $40. Possibly okay. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, that that one right there looks like you catching it at the top of the range. So we'll see. But yeah, that one that don't look bad at all. Um, yeah, V. You got all the put setups going. Yep. Same thing. Yep. Continuation of four hour, two two rev on the day. Right, low, low, yep. Are you eating, eating? Okay, Coinbase, I see. Trying to make a little bounce at the end of the day, huh? A little four hour inside. Coin looks solid though. Um, it's just the, the setup to the upside looks against the continuity. So you just you just running that low risk, but yeah. Um and the magnitude looks solid, like we get back up, but yeah, you just have to watch yourself with that one because of uh continuity being down. Look at J and J. Uh, okay, M O. Let's take a look at that out trip. That one is that's good gas right there. They won their court cases. Um, I don't even remember what the case was about, but they won a lawsuit, or it was <laughs> it was dismissed or something like that. Like turn up, they turned up after that. I forgot who I was talking to. I was like, man, MO going to 52. Uh, hey, I don't know if it was me, but I know for sure we talked about MO for sure. And we was talking about, you know, MO at some point going back up. Yep, yep. If you look I'm at the day. Luke on the four hour. I just realized that. Yep, yeah, it Luke is a Luke. Ooh. Yeah, I'll yeah. hop some swings on MO because they triggered the month up today. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, set this trigger because what what we get in, we had the bounce and then the afternoon session we got a TTO, so we got like a four hour TTO. Mm -hmm. So I would look for this one to to, to try to go get fifty two tomorrow. Hey, you know how uh, staple stocks do that little bit of move. That's only like fifty cent, sixty cent move. But yeah, that's that's true. That's crazy. That's gonna be a crazy move for like an MO though. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah the contracts. Uh, so yeah, that's a solid. I like MO as a stock. I like the stock. Oh, um, the day is too up. No, nah, we ain't looked at uh Clorox. I like that exit. I like that outside week though. God, oh, Mo. Yeah, we was talking about Clorox today on the call, man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it triggers tomorrow, I'm gonna get in though, cause I I still have my alert set for the week trigger. So I'm just waiting on that, and I haven't really taken on new positions this week. So I'm still I'm still locked and loaded. Um, <laughs> I ain't really spent nothing this week and got in too much, so 
uh, with my computer difficulties. So I'm, so I'm ready to play tomorrow. I'm this is my first day back. Yeah, CLS like is going up tomorrow. Continuation on the four hour day. Um, I'm looking at the week trigger because we were, you know, that's one of my plays for the watch list for the weekly watch list to go long on if it triggers. So I was already kind of monitoring it. So just waiting on that level to kind of um, signal me to get in. I mean, as far as tomorrow, I don't know if tomorrow's expiration is even have any bodies at, you know, at the party. That'd be, that'd be the only thing. Yep. See, like, yeah. February 18 contracts. It ain't, ain't going to be nobody in there but the Alpha Pack. So I, don't, <laughs> I ain't trying to be up in there with y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, so yeah, I like to you know if you're getting shares, then 100% go for it. So that's why I'm looking for a long out, long out expiration um, on Clorox. I forgot the expiration. I have to go look at my list again. But yeah, anyway, um, that's kind of how that's kind of how I um, kind of broke it down in my mind. It's like, man, he out here pumping and dumping, man, with nobody but a hundred people in them contracts. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, CLX, yeah, I had the April 185s, they were like 15 cents. And the June 190s and June 200s, and they were like 50 cents and 30 cents respectively. Yeah, so like that's what I was looking at on, on my Clorox. So like if they trigger tomorrow, that's what I'll do. I'll grab i grab some of those Junes and Aprils. There ain't no short term contracts worth worth even trying to trade. So okay, so then with that being said, uh, what other what other tickers? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy magnitude. And like I was saying on the call today, we got to give ourselves some time. Um, I, I, the most recent one that I caught that fell like that was um, LMT, but it was my second time taking entry on it. Because the first time I took entry on it, it failed and just did this shit right here for like six, seven weeks. Jeez, yeah. yeah, so I took, the, I took the alert right after the drop. Uh, There's some alerts right here. It went two up, hit this yeah. broad information, and then just went sideways. One yeah, week, yeah. two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. Then finally uh, went off. And so had to, I had to get in again when if I would have thought ahead of time, I would just would have given myself all that time. I probably could have got the contracts for a lot cheaper. Um, okay. So. You know, just some little tweaks you got you to pick up on. So that's what I'm thinking on with Clorox. Similar situation. LMT's uh, week look good. I ain't going to lie that. 3-2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that's the June 400s on those LMTs. So I had Oh, yeah, yeah. I had Dang, even, I had Yeah. They was like three. I guess it was like three bucks back in uh, December. You killing them. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a, that was that was a that's a that was one. It's like you put, park some money and then go, go you know, go pick it up later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. good trade. Yeah, that was that was just Joe Biden. That was Joe Byron right there. <laughs> Joe Joe Byron. My, Sorry about that. Yeah, that was Joe Byron, man. Yeah, Joe Byron said he was gonna give them defense boys eight hundred million. So I was like, well, let me throw my let me throw my little nuggets over there too, then. So you know, that's all that was. Joe Byron. I was like, oh, the charts match up with what you saying, Joe. All right, give me a hug, baby. You know, hey. Now we didn't check out Oracle. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Yeah, Oracle still look like we got room to the downside. Um, we take Oracle down to the 74, 48, 74, 50 level. 
you might have some micros that you can find maybe that before that, but um, I would just watch it till it gets to the broad information. Um, I mean, it is a monthly level BF, so there will be some type of reaction there, but we got to see what happens. Continuity is strong as hell to the downside though. So, I mean, I don't see why it would, if it bounced, it might bounce, you know, for, you know, a short period of time and then go right back down. I don't know. I don't see anything that would make it go back up just yet. So um, still looking to the downside of me. It's just that broad information you should, that you could look at that as a, a area you might want to target to get out, especially for a zero day. All right, so now on Zillow, this thing yeah, gapped up. Damn, okay, I see what y'all doing. Taking these legs up, flagging. All right, um, Z look, don't look bad at all. Um, looks like it's trying to reverse the trend and head back to the upside. So, um, yeah, with, Z, with Zillow, uh, looks solid. I mean, ain't nothing, to, ain't nothing really to, to say. I think, like, the trigger point, obviously, for entry was last week. But, like, for tomorrow, though, um, there's this conflict. So I would just kind of monitor it. There's a shooter on the day. So it's like, we got the shooter on the day. So, like, are we going to get the one, two, two below 62.36? Um, but we are in the midst, looks like a reversal to the upside. So I don't know like how far we're going to go down if we do trigger to the downside, you know what I mean? So like, that's where I would be a little unclear, um, because we gapped up, we're showing that we're, we're reversing the trend. Uh, we did get a shooter on a day. So maybe we do go two down tomorrow and, you know, have like a failed two down kind of thing. I don't think like we'll push down relatively strongly with this, um, just based on what I'm seeing right here. So so there is a play that you can make to the downside with the shooter, but I don't know how much how much juice you'll get on it. Looks like it's trying to push back up right now. So yeah, so yeah, Zillow, Zillow. I like to stop, um, but we'll see. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, Zillow. That looks straight. Anything else? What we got? What we got? Well, maybe we could look at X. So X, we got we got the two down, the four hour. Alright, so same thing, X with the hammer on the four hour, two down on the four hour. 2430 is your level for entry. Um and taking it back to 2477, 2480 level. That will probably be very solid payment on some contracts. I'll bet if you do that on analyze tab, you're probably well over a hundred percent, probably close to 200. So, um, and you know, these things, they're not going to stop immediately at the BF. So you may get a push back to try to go and get this 2552 level. Then we really cooking with grease then. So, um, I like the way X, uh, showed strength in the afternoon. Maybe we get this retest back to the broad information and kind of push back up to the highs that we had uh, Wednesday, yesterday. Could, so, could, could you show us again what you mean by it when you go to the analyze tab to see uh, the percentages and whatnot? How you do kind of do that? Um, yeah. So, so with that, it's a little bit longer for me to do on this call, but um, I'll kind of quickly go through it. Um, so, and then FICO uh, Jordan does it has a video that breaks it down in detail on the. Um, this video on, a, on our YouTube on our YouTube channel. Oh, okay. I've seen that video. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then, so essentially, uh, the, the thought process is you you grab the contract. Um, you know, obviously, you got your price, the amount that you want to have, and then 
Um, you can either go from like a like just using this graph or you could go and like FICO prefers, which I would agree with just quicker, but I like the, the graph um, visual. You can go in and type the price of the, you know, of whatever your target could be. And then you type in the price. Now here you can see what your, what your returns would be on the trade. If you took that trade with that amount of contracts on that, you know, on that day, you know, that expiration. And if you had swings, you could change the dates and look at, um, you know, look at the different dates and stuff like that on like different expirations and all that stuff. So you could say, hey, how much would I get if it if I if it hit this price by this date and stuff like that? So you can kind of plot out a course. You could check broad information. It's like, oh, OK, the broad information is at 25, 26.55. Let me go see how much it will pay if it got to that broad information. So then I go here, okay, 26, uh, I forgot what it was, 55. Uh, no, boom, it hits 26.55 by tomorrow, I make 15, 1,480 bucks if I get 10 of the $25 strike at 10 cents. So if I spend $100, I'll make 1,480 in profit if X went to 25, 26.55 tomorrow, which isn't probably a realistic like price number, but like that's kind of how the, the, the thought process goes. And then you just do that with all the different contracts that you select. So you can just go back. And while you're doing this, you check the Greeks as well. So you see what your delta theta ratio is and all that kind of stuff. So then when it's trading day, you're not looking at that. You just execute it. That's, that's what we, we try to emphasize to folks is you do all this stuff pre-trading day. So when it's time to trade, it's time to trade, not look at you know, open interests and trying to figure out which contract to take, like we already should know that. So like, that's kind of like the whole overall process of it. And the analyze tab is kind of like that final step to like verify what your return on investment would be. And so based on like whatever we put in these, whatever this price amount is, you have to do your own calculation of percentage. This is gonna give you the exact dollar amount that you're gonna get back based on that calculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once you get to like using it regularly, it, it's just second nature to you. Um, but with that, my kids are going crazy. Um, so it's dinner time over here. So I got to get these kids together. We're going to wrap it up. Um, if y'all don't have any more questions, I will check with y'all in the chat. I'll get my watch list up and post it here. Give me a couple hours to do that. And uh, we'll... Well, we're gonna get this chicken tomorrow. You know, it's 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 Alpha Pack Friday, bring a friend Friday. So you know, invite your folks if they don't trade, have them listen in. If they trade, tell them come get this money with us. It's time to eat. It's been a little whatever kind of week. So it's you know, and I've been I've been man down, so I'm ready to to get in and get active tomorrow. I'm ready. So uh let's get to it, Pack fan. We got some good setups. Look like them oily boys is, you know, gonna be hitting tomorrow. So yeah, let's go. Peace.